What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here, and we're coming at you with entry number 21. 21. 21? 21. It's 9 plus 10. 19. 21. No. June 21st, <laughs> 2021. So it's 6 21 21. So there we go. Um, we're currently sitting in the new arrangement that this one has conducted because. <laughs> Like she said, like, instead of, like, setting up for, like, you know, fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas and Valentine's Day and all I mean, the I holidays, uh, she just rearranges the furniture every six months. So, <laughs> Which I really have to do now because of my plant addiction. Plants, and then there's more plants over there. Because, see, the, the thing is, is this bay window right here, which is, like, 90% of the reason that we bought this house, gets really, 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 really hot and really, 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 really cold. So they like the bay window in the spring and in the fall, but in the summer and in the winter, it's too hot and too cold for them. So I noticed that some of my plants were starting to get sunburned and I was like, oh, oh God. So um, I spent the evening rearranging the living room with minimal help from him because <laughs> I was determined to do it by myself. Cause I he told, helped me move the TV. Though. I had to help him move that TV. That, that, the story I told you guys behind that, just a real quick recap. I went on buy, sell, trade, Amarillo, looking for a 50-inch TV. The guy told me it was 50 inches. I got it home, and it was a 65. So, I mean, I'm not mad. I mean, I'm not mad either. 250 for a 65? Yeah. It's not bad. Not, not bad, not bad. So, um, it was funny, though, because she was saying that some of her plants got sunburnt, and that included the aloe vera plant. Which was, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, that's irony. Mm -hmm. Irony, thy name is Sunburnt. <laughs> Hopefully she bounces back. Yeah, and then Ami's already already making it herself at home with the new arrangement. She's sleepy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's sleepy. And then we got Chandler down there. I don't know if you can see him or not, but they got the, the baby boy down there. Um, yeah, so we just worked all day. <laughs> pretty much I, I came home and I, I think I sat down for a total of like 10 minutes since uh since I've been home uh but yeah I mean just work was not too bad today I had a few uh, it was funny I ended my day at a church for a service and I or I started my day there and I ended my day at the same church with a different service <laughs> because I was like oh that's kind of cool like I guess it's kind of sad that they have two services in one day yeah. um but like, you know, there's okay. I'm gonna get a little bit on the soapbox here. Uh, when an old lady walks up to me and says, "Ooh, what a fun job!" When I take flowers, I'm like, I wanna be like, sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to my. Life. Other times, I'm like, lady, if you knew half the stuff I had to deliver for people, you wouldn't think it was a fun job. It's not easy. Now, you know, somebody delivering to their sweetheart or for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, something like that. Yeah, cool birthdays. But, like, when it comes to, like, a funeral that was delayed, they died last January and they're just now able to have a service. Um, one guy that I really, that kind of got to me for some reason, one guy kind of the, the theory is is that he died in prison but they were able to have like a little service for him at the party oh, yeah, yeah. party place um that one really got to me and i'm just like oh man you know of course all these questions run through my head like was it covid did, what happened did he die in there because he was sick you know what happened it was just really really interesting to say the least but i mean if people knew half the time that yeah yeah it's, it's a fun job um until you have to deliver to some of the hospitals or the, the cancer center or stuff like that. And, or a five-year-old's funeral. Or a five-year-old's funeral that died of COVID last year. Um, then well, it's... Well, no, the five-year-old had a brain tumor. Oh, last year's five-year-old, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a five-year-old last year for COVID. But last week we had a sweet little girl. Oh, she wasn't five. She was three. That's, she was a sweet little girl. That's that even worse. Had a tummy ache and she went to bed and never woke up. That's and when sad. they did the autopsy, they found out that she had brain cancer or something. And they never even knew because she acted like a normal, healthy little girl. That's some sad stuff, man. I tell you what. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It is fun. Especially that that little impromptu that we had to do on Saturday. That yeah. was that was kind of cool. Um, long distance relationship. Uh, one girl, uh, her girlfriend wasn't having a good day, so she bought her flowers and a balloon and a giant teddy bear and 
you know, just wanted to say, you know, have a good day, you know, thinking about you. I was like, that's really sweet. That was really nice. For the record, guys and girls, best reason to send flowers is always just because. Just because. Always. I think I actually just, I think I had a playlist named that one time. Like, Colin, why do you have all these songs there? Just because. <laughs> like, why do you have Britney Spears and Rob Zombie in the same playlist? Just because. <laughs> And then it evolved into church, so. No, it's super frustrating when an old lady tells you, oh, I love. Cat fight. Yes. Thanks, cats. <laughs> you know, I would love to do your job. Or when somebody comes mm -hmm. in, they're like, I'm going to do your job when I retire. And I'm like, honey. There's two, I, uh, two people that work there that are retired, technically. One. Just well, Barbara. Well, Carol, you know. No, she's, uh, she's not retired. She's not retired. She's no. just living the good life. Anyway. Yeah. But, um, you know, a lot of people don't take into consideration, one, yes, the emotional toll. Um, there are quite a few services that I have helped the families that have really, really stuck with me. Um, and if you guys want to know, you can ask and <laughs> call and we'll, I, I have too many. It would take 20 minutes to tell the story that hits me the hardest. No, but, maybe you can do a vlog about it. Um, Maybe. No. But. Start your own YouTube channel. You're getting way more views than me. Also, I mean, there's a lot of heavy lifting. You have to be on your feet all the time. And, like. Calluses. Y'all can see I developed a form of eczema. Yep. Oh, that looks great on camera. It does. Look at how wonderful my fingers look. And, like, underneath my fingernail. Yeah, it's cracked underneath it. It's great. Yeah, I um, heard you and Jordan suffer from it, but I think you got a mm -hmm. little worse, don't you? No. Jordan, Jordan has, has contact Oh, yeah. She was, like, peeling so, her flesh. Yeah. Jordan, um, <laughs> one of the girls that we work with, is actually allergic to some of the... It's not really sap, but some of the stuff that the flowers excrete. And it's a certain type, usually a bulb flower. Um, and it's very common in the floral industry. Mine, it, hers, it causes the skin on her fingers to literally blister and peel off. Yeah, um, mine is just a form of eczema, but both of us have to wear gloves all day long. Um, and and they really, every rose does have its thorn and it often finds its way into my fingers oh, same. or during valentine's day i found thorns in my bra that's really fun um so yeah it's i love my job mm -hmm. it is a fun job it is i love it uh it is definitely my passion but it's also hard it's not just playing with flowers there's yeah, a lot that goes I, into it. I, if I had a dollar for every time I heard somebody say, oh, I like to play with flowers all day, um, then I think I could probably, you know, buy a Little Caesars Hot and Ready. But, I mean, still. Um, it's not just playing with flowers Speaking of which, um, I think uh, for multitude of – actually, just main, main – one main reason. Uh, I'd much rather deliver pizzas than flowers because <laughs> – because pizzas are usually like a, a day and you know a sporting event or you know whatever flowers it could be oh your best friend just got engaged or died like it was just, it's kind of something that i'm just like ah yep. just the unknown and then of course sometimes how they react when you deliver it because i get to witness it like ground zero mm -hmm. like when i deliver it like their reaction sometimes like delivering to somebody that i knew personally um uh their family or you know delivering to my sister who wasn't there that one time <laughs> she's like i can't believe i missed you i was in a meeting but regardless anyway no it's still a great job um definitely has its ups and downs um but i mean yeah that's so, any industry yeah i didn't mean to really go on a soapbox about, about it that about long flowers all day yeah long, she will so. um but no there's a i guess a little bit of a happy note um carl nassib of the las vegas raiders officially came out today on social media uh first full-blown of course michael sam did it a few years back and of course he never made a roster he never made an impact um but uh he's the first player to, to come out um he pretty much went on uh, his social media and made a statement saying like i feel like now i feel and this kind of kind of upsets me but i mean good for him he says now i feel safe about revealing it 
now I feel like it's safe. It's like, it should have been safe a long time ago, but that's just the world we live in. Um, and of course, you know, some of the comments of course are just, just venomous and just, just tragic. I, I read a, a thread of comments that the NFL released a statement about it. And one guy was like, um, uh, paraphrasing here, but he said something like, uh, uh, he, he, he shouldn't have said anything. He should just shut up and play football. I'm just like, bro. And then somebody responded. It was like, you got to understand it goes deeper than that. If you don't, you're just ignorant. If you don't understand, it goes deeper than just shut up and play football. Shut up and play guitar. Shut up and do this. Shut up and do that. You know, I might not agree with some of these rock stars or some of these athletes, you know, politically, but they're speaking their, they're speaking their opinion. That's what makes this country great. You could speak against or you could speak for any political affiliate that you wish and you won't get killed most of the time unless you mess with the Clintons. Oh God, now I'm going to die. Um, but oh, stupid. Damn it! Anywho, so, <laughs> this will be the last one, guys. <laughs> anyway, I will die in my sleep. I will, uh, death by, uh, oh, was it that the cops, death by suicide? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's gonna happen to me. Uh, I'm gonna shoot myself in the head twice. Uh, that's happened before. Anyway, guys. All right. Just wanted to get out of here. So we talked about flowers. We talked about uh, Carl flowers. Nassib. Huh? More flowers. More flowers. And then a little bit of a. Of course, you know I got nine days to go. But here's a little bit of a 360 view. She did a good job, and then I did a good job with the TV. But everything else is. It's pretty good. She did a good job. Not gonna lie to you. Oh, one quick thing, real quick. <laughs> one more thing. For those of you who watched Jackie Chan Adventures back in the day, uh, I released a video today, just out of the blue, uh, to celebrate the yeah, 10th year anniversary. <laughs> it, was a, it was a school project I had to do. And I was going through a time hop this morning, and it said, hey, you know, 10 years ago you made this video. And I was like, I ah, screw it. I'll post it to kind of celebrate it because, of course, you guys know on this channel, m miscellaneous video. That is what it, that's what I do on this channel. Not only do I do the vlogs and the food reviews and uh, the gameplay, I also post miscellaneous videos, and that was definitely one of them. Uh, added that to the playlist if you guys want to go watch those. Some of them are pretty pretty short and sweet. Uh, average about a minute or so. Um, trying to keep y'all's attention span just a little longer than what I do with 13 minutes now. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's called The Relief Ring and a uh, little backstory behind it. Um, I was a senior in high school and I took an audio video productions class. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, and so I was gone. I think I went back on a Thursday or a Friday. I was out because I had a stomach bug that was kicking my ass. Monday, woke up, was throwing up. Tuesday, was dehydrated. Wednesday, I was like, eh, I'll probably go back tomorrow. So I get back, and they're like, hey, Colin, this is your group. Uh, Cole and I forgot, uh, I think uh, Izzy, I think, was the, the other uh, group member. And uh, what? Tilt your head this way. Tilt my head this way? Why? Move your shoulders so that they can see what Amari's doing. Oh, uh, what is she doing? She's holding my hand. <laughs> Look at that. My baby. Oh, anyway, so they're like, Colin, this is your, these are your lines. Go for it. Um, each time I was on camera, one take, one take, one take, one and done. And uh, editing took me, because they're like, since you weren't here, you get to edit the video. And I'm like, oh, darn. I don't know how to do that. So... <laughs> I edited the video, and I think I got it knocked out in, like, 10 minutes. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the Relief Ring ad from 2011, a little 10-year anniversary. Uh, hope you enjoyed our talk about flowers. I hope you enjoyed about uh, Carl, our, our conversation about Carl Nassim. And uh, don't be ignorant. Just don't be ignorant. Just because somebody thinks differently than you, that doesn't mean you're wrong, they're right, or vice versa. 
Just everybody's got opinions, just like assholes. Everybody's got one. Ow. Now she bite, she bite you now? No, she put her claws in me. All right, guys, we're going to get out of here 15 minutes. Thank you all so much. Once again, you could have saved 15% at Geico. Uh, and always remember my little piglets. Call it Port Shop. Loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy, guys, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Say bye, Chandler. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>